Today, we're going pre-build shopping around the world. Because who doesn't want to know what it's like buying a gaming PC in Yugoslavia? Now I'm going to start with the top rated comment on the community post where I asked all of you for recommendations of pre-built companies in your various countries. And uh, the first one is from the very exotic faraway land, the UK. Uh, now apparently, Curry's PC World is a very popular site. This is the Get Serious Gaming System for £1,400. Now on first impressions, this actually looks really good because here we've got like a mesh front with actual fans behind it. I don't know how similar it's gonna be to this one but that looks pretty good there's also a decent sized cooler on there and uh, the graphics card is a 6700 XT okay that's a thousand four hundred pounds on sale but let's let's take that price that's about a thousand nine hundred and fifty USD which I mean that's not cheap for the specs that you're getting but I think it would probably be quite difficult to build a similar system uh, for less than that out of like custom parts considering the current market. Okay, now let's see kind of on the lower end of the price spectrum. Uh, here we've got PC Specialist Tornado R3 Gaming PC. So for £700, you're getting a Ryzen 3 3200G. You're getting a lot of storage space. 8 gigs of RAM, so that's probably going to be single channel. Uh, we'll see if we can figure that out somewhere. And then a GTX 1650. That's not too terrible. Well, I mean, they show dual channel RAM in the picture. Whether or not that's what you actually get, I don't, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good. Next up, we have some recommendations for a Romanian site, which is really exciting. I heard that in Romania, you can get like amazing internet for pretty cheap. So let me know in the comment section below if that's true. Uh, but let's check out emag.ro. Oh, lay. That is a currency. We're going to have to get that conversion up. Oh, okay, so the Romanian Lu is about 25 cents per dollar. Uh, let's have a look at this system, which is for a thousand one hundred-ish Lu. Let's, ha let's have a look here. We're getting... Oh, the site's really slow. This is like a $300 gaming system, and um, whoa, it's actually, we've got a GT710 gaming pre-built, hell yeah. So it's got a Intel G3220 in it, 8 gigs of RAM. I wonder if that, are we going to get pictures of the inside? Oh, we do. Look at that. Okay, I can tell you right now that that is not a GT710 in there, and the system has no RAM and isn't plugged in, so... <laughs> This is a very helpful picture. Good good job, Emag. Let's see what people have to say about it. 52 reviews. Here are some pictures of it. It seems like you... Is that the same case? No, it's not, right? Okay, so there's some variety in the case that you get. Very good PC at its price. Even if it goes a little harder, GTA games like Minecraft, it struggles with it. It's fine. I give this product five stars. It arrived very quickly. Let's see if they have a slightly more expensive version that doesn't have a GT710 in it. Uh, so that's a thousand. Here's a thousand six hundred, right? And we're getting a 3470 with a GT1030 in it. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's about 385 US dollars for this system. Are there any reviews? Yes, we do. Someone posted a picture of them. <laughs> Someone posted a picture of it playing Farming Simulator, so that's that's amazing. And here is a picture of the actual system. So we've got some fans right up against acrylic, and then deodorant next to your PC. That's a that's an interesting place to store your deodorant, Luca. Um, but again, people are very satisfied with their system. I mean, that's that's awesome that you can get systems in this price range. There's a big variety of them actually. Damn, they don't ship to Canada. I really would have wanted to buy some of these systems. That would be really cool. Okay, this site is genuinely amazing, but I think we have to move on to a different country. Although there are a couple of other sites that they recommended in, in Romania. Um, but let's let's try someone else. I saw here's something from Denmark. Okay, so for SI's Shark Gaming is where we want to go. Short Gaming has a fancy looking website. Wow, these are these are some good looking PCs over here. 
They do look like they're relatively high-end, though. Uh, let's go to computers. Max Byte series, most powerful for the price. And then we've got Shark series, which is serious gaming PCs with a sea of benefits. Oof, that pun. Also, Mighty Shark, I'm guessing, is the is is the high-end one. Uh, let, let's let's go for Max Byte. Sounds good. Whoa, they've they've even got like an in-house graphics designer. Okay, DK, what is what is the conversion for this? It's so many currencies. Okay, so it seems for the Danish krona, you get about 16 US cents. So a system for 3,500, 550 bucks. Okay, that is a that is a good price for us to get started with. Okay, I actually immediately respect Shark Gaming and not just because of the puns, because you can see here that they just use the Intel integrated graphics as opposed to dropping like a GT710 in here so that they can brag about having dedicated graphics even though the dedicated graphics is like half the speed of the iGPU. So good on you with that one. Um, they've also got dual channel 3200 megahertz RAM. That's awesome. Uh, and you can change all this stuff. So how does this work? Customize PC and buy. Oh, you can get custom prints on your PC. This is, this is a really cool site. LEDs. And then here you can change out your CPU. You can choose specific motherboards that you want in here. Uh, add graphics cards. Let's see. Adding a 1050 Ti, Ooh, that looks like it's quiet. I mean, you, why would you get a 1050 Ti over a 1650? So it's about 280 bucks. That's that's quite a lot, but you know, it's difficult to get your hands on graphics cards at the moment. Gallery, here are some pictures of it. Um, okay, I mean, that's obviously not what this one's gonna look like. That's, <laughs> okay, never mind. So when it comes to the Shark Brutality gaming PC, We've got an i5 10400F, a 1660 Super, 16 gigs of RAM. Okay, that's that's quite expensive by US standards, but in Denmark, do they include tax in the prices or is that separate like in the United States? Because if tax is included, then it's actually not that bad. Um, it, you know, the gap is smaller. Next up, we're moving over to Brazil with Pichá, I think. Uh, there wasn't really a pronunciation guide for it online, so hopefully I didn't butcher it too badly. But yeah, let's check that out. Okay, this looks like all you need for PC gaming is here. There's also microphones and stuff. Now, in terms of currency conversion, we're looking at about 20 US cent per Brazilian reel. Uh, so that makes this system about 350 US dollars and for that you're getting an Athlon 320 GE 8 gigs of RAM and a 240 gig SSD That's one of the things that I've noticed with all of these websites is that it seems like most of them come with SSDs Even the really budget systems. So that's really good to see. Okay, so this is actually all in Portuguese uh, Google Translate hasn't picked up on all of this stuff But they actually give you a parts breakdown of everything that it comes with which is really cool and another Another nice touch is that they've got an aftermarket cooler on that 320 GE despite the fact that it comes with a stock cooler so you should have really good temperatures there. Oh wow there's a whole selection here we have to go for the camo one first right so here this is well let's do that conversion quickly 8700 wow a thousand seven hundred dollars for this system so this is like a beast gaming PC. Uh, which comes with a 5700G, okay, that's pretty cool. A 2060, and then 8 gigs of... Why only 8 gigs of RAM? That's not great. But it does have camo effect on it, so that's worth like at least 16 gigs of RAM in terms of performance. So that's fine, the 8 gigs shouldn't be too much of an issue here. Comes with a B550 board. Ooh, is this the B550 board? A Biostar board, okay. Ooh, look at that power delivery, that's not great. Let's see if this has some reviews on it. No, no reviews on this site, why? And then finally, we're gonna head over to India with Elite Hubs. So one rupee is about one US cent, a little bit over, so that's why these prices seem so high. Uh, let's start off with a more budget PC, because these, they just start straight with high-end stuff over here. Uh, 28,000. So that's about $370 is, is about the equivalent of what this system goes for. It's out of stock, unfortunately, uh, but you get a 3200G, a B550M Pro board. Okay, that's a pretty good motherboard for such a budget system. And then eight gigs of RAM, and I'm guessing that's not got an SSD in it. And then here, it gives you a pretty detailed breakdown of the components that you have in here. 
Oh, there's no reviews on here. That's such a shame. I really like getting to see what people have to say about these systems. They are all out of stock. Okay, let's stay. Let's stay in the in stock area. So this is the most budget system that you can buy that's in stock. So that is about $1,100 for this bad boy with a 10-100F in it and a 1660 Super with 16 gigs of RAM. It seems like you get my favorite case in the world. Is that what that is? Oh, it's a Deepcool Matrix 40. Yes, that is in fact my favorite case in the world. Uh, I think it's that. But you do get dual channel RAM, no SSD though, stock cooler. 550 watt cooler master power supply. What about $1,600 for a system with a 3060 in it, a 5600X and 16 gigs of RAM. Okay, so this again is closer to US pricing, uh, especially if that includes tax. Unfortunately, you're not getting an SSD with it, which is a shame. You can pretty much only get A-Data SSDs. That's not great because A-Data doesn't have the best reputation for reliability, unfortunately. And with that, it brings me to the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to do more of these videos so we try and get more countries in uh, with different pre-builds. This has been really interesting. I, I, think, I think the Romanian site has definitely been my favorite so far. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And until the next one, bye-bye.